This video is all about sharing on Bulb. Let's start with our save functionality. As you are creating, Bulb is constantly saving your page. When creating your Bulb pages, you see them in draft mode. If you want to preview what your page will look like from an outsider perspective, go to the three dots menu in the upper right hand corner and select preview live view. You can interact with your media like others and see how your pages, how others will see it. Click resume editing to return to edit mode. When you're ready to share your page with an audience, click on the blue share button in the upper right hand corner. This brings up the share modal. To make your page visible to a particular audience, put your cursor in the field that says who can see this page? You will see a drop down of options. I will review all of the available options in Bulb, but note that for students, some of these options may not be available. Your school administrators have the ability to manage what options display for students by your grade level. The first option here is public. Now public does mean public. It can be searchable in Bulb and on the web. If you share a public Bulb page, viewers of your page do not have to have a Bulb account to see your work. If you are a member of an organization, you will see that option. This means anyone with a Bulb account who is a part of the same organization as you can view your page. Users in your organization do not get notified when you share to the organization. The next option is groups. When you share to a group, your page will visually display in the content area of that group. You can also share to multiple groups at once. For example, if you're an educator and you teach multiple sections of the same class, you can share one bulb page assignment to all of your classes at once. If you want to share your page with certain individuals, Right here in the search for people in Bulb box is where you would type a Bulb username. This is a great option if a student wants to share work directly with a teacher or a peer project group. Note that searching by first or last name will not give you correct results. Make sure that you use their Bulb username. To find your username, you can navigate to a profile and look at the browser URL www.bulbapp.com after that slash is your username. For example, the username on this account is Mrs. Berg. Clicking on the private share link generates a special unique link that if you share this link with anyone, they can click on that link and have access to view your page. They do not have to have a Bulb account to view. This is great for college applications, scholarships, and sharing with family members or during a conference presentation. When using a private share link, it's important that you share the private link and not the URL at the top of the page. Use the clipboard icon to easily copy that URL. You can also share your page via socials. These icons here will connect you to all of your social media so that you can share your page via email, Google Classroom, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Now it's extremely important to note that your page is not shared until you select the Apply Share Settings button at the bottom of this panel. If you make any edits to your page after you share, you can always come back into the Share panel and click Apply Share Settings for the audience to see your updates. Now I want to quickly teach you about collections and how collection visibility works. When you open a collection, click the share button below the collection title and description. A familiar share menu will appear. This looks very similar to the page share panel. This is where you can add who can see this collection. Notice you have the same options including adding a username or creating a private share link. One thing that's different is you don't have to click Apply Share Settings. 
As soon as you add anything to this panel, it's automatically saved and active. If I share this collection here, all shared pages inside of this collection will also be viewable. Any pages that are not shared at the page level will only be visible to you. I'm going to share this collection to the public. Now, when I open up a page and click Share, you will see Public with an up arrow, indicating that it's inheriting the visibility you added at the collection level. Subcollections inherit the shared collection visibility as well. Something important to note is that any unshared page is only visible to you. Notice this page has a red icon. This means that your page is not shared. Meaning if I share the collection link, the viewer would not have access to any of my unshared pages. I must share the pages for the permission to inherit and to allow that audience to see the page. You are now a pro at sharing. If you have any questions, reach out to us at help at bulbap.com. Thank you.